Lines. Okay, so we're going to learn all about lines in this screencast, and the first thing we're going to talk about is the standard form of a linear equation, and it's ax plus by equals c, where a and b are not both zero, and usually a, b, and c are integers. Now, to graph a line, you need at least two points, and if an equation is in standard form, it's pretty easy to get the x and y intercept. To get the x intercept, you're going to set y equal to zero and solve for x. To get the y intercept, you're going to set x equal to zero and solve for y. Here's an example of graphing a line using x and y intercepts. So to get the x intercept, I'm going to set y equal to zero. So I'm going to get 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 12. Of course, that's 0. And so 2x equals 12, x equals 6. So we have an x-intercept at 6. Now I'm going to graph the y-intercept. And that means I'm going to set x equal to 0. And solve for y. So negative 3y equals 12 y equals negative 4. There are my two points for my line. Connect them, and there's the line. Every line has slope, and slope just measures how steep a line is either increasing or decreasing. And the way we get slope is to get the change in y and divide it by the change in x. This is sometimes called the rise and this is sometimes called the run. So you, you may hear people say the slope equals the rise over the run. So I just get the y coordinates, subtract them, get the x coordinates, subtract them, and then divide to get the slope. So let's find the slope of the line that contains the points negative 1, negative 2, and 5, 8. Okay, so I'm going to do change in y. So our slope, I don't know why they use m to represent slope, but most books do. So we'll just go along with that. So change in y is negative 2 minus 8 over change in x. That's negative 1 minus 5. And I'm going to get negative 10 over negative 6. And we'll reduce that to positive 5 thirds. So this line that contains these points has a slope of positive 5 thirds. Now I mentioned earlier that slope is a measure of how steep a line is changing. So if the slope is positive, if you read the line from left to right, it's going up, it's increasing. And if a slope is negative, as you read a line from left to right, it's decreasing. Now what happens if the slope is zero? In other words, the change in y is zero. Well, that means you've got a horizontal line. What if the denominator is zero? What if the change in x is zero? Well, that means you have a vertical line, okay? And we say that they have undefined slope. So horizontal lines have zero slope, vertical lines have undefined slope. Another form of a linear equation that you need to be familiar with is called the slope-intercept form. And we call it that because the number in front of x will always be the slope of the line, and the constant there is always going to be your y-intercept. And this form is nice because it's easy to graph. Let's take 2x minus 3y equals 15 and convert it to slope-intercept form and then graph it. So to convert it to slope-intercept form, we're going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, which gives me that. Then I'm going to divide by negative 3 to get y by itself. So I'm going to get 2 thirds x minus 5. There's our slope. And there's our y-intercept. So here's how you graph it. I'm going to start at negative 5 on the y-axis, because that's my y-intercept. And then this tells me to go up 2 and over 3. And it's positive, so I'm going to go up 2 over 3. And there's my next point. And I can keep going up 2 over 3 to get as many points as I want, up 2 over 3. We only need two to graph a line. I like to do three just to verify. So there's our line. A third form of a linear equation is called point-slope form. And the reason it's called point-slope form is because to use it, you need slope and a point. 
How do you put it together? Well, you go y minus the y coordinate of your point equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. This form is really just a special form of our slope formula because if I write out the slope formula and multiply both sides by x minus x1, look at what we get. the point slope form of a line. Okay, so we've got a line that goes through these two points and we'd like to get the equation of that line that contains those points. So you always need to get the slope if you don't have it. So I'm going to go negative 1 minus 2 over negative 2 minus 3. And by the way, I would get the same slope if I did 2 minus negative 1 and 3 minus negative 2. I just have to make sure I do my x's and y's in the same order. So this is going to be negative 3 over negative 5, which is 3 fifths. Okay, so putting it in point slope form, y minus, now which point should I use? Guess what? It doesn't matter. So I'll just use this point right here. y minus 2 equals 3 fifths x minus 3. Or I could have done y minus negative 1 equals 3 fifths x minus negative 2, which is x plus 2. Okay, from here we can convert to slope-intercept form. So I'll distribute the 3 fifths and then add 2 to both sides. 3 fifths x minus 9 fifths plus 10 fifths. So in slope-intercept form that's 3 fifths x plus 1 fifth. Or I could m convert this to uh, standard form. So I could go um, 5y minus 10 equals 3 times x minus 3. 5y minus 10 equals 3x minus 9. And get minus 3x plus 5y, add 10 equals 1. So here's point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. Okay, and then finally uh, let's talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Two lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal. You have to have the same slope for them to be parallel. Two lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are opposite reciprocal. So let's say that I have one equation where y equals 2x plus 3 and another one where y equals negative 1 half x minus 5. Since 2 and negative 1 half are opposite reciprocals, these lines are perpendicular. So let's find the equation of the line that, that passes through the point 3, 0 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x plus 1. So the slope of this line is positive 3. That means the perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 third. Okay, so I've got my slope, got my point. Let's put it in point slope form. y minus 0 equals negative 1 third x minus 3. y equals negative 1 third x plus 1. And there you go. This line is perpendicular to this line and it passes through that point.